friends from City Football Group, and friends from the media, and fans of Indian football. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you as we kickstart this special evening. Today is a landmark day, a momentous occasion that celebrates the remarkable rise of Indian football. A day that brings to life our vision for this beautiful game in India. Five years ago, it all started with a dream. A dream to revolutionize Indian football. A dream that gave birth to the Hero Indian Super League in 2014. And there has been no looking back since then. We set the ball rolling in ISL season one with eight teams playing 61 matches. Today, we have 10 teams playing 95 matches in our ongoing season six. And what an incredible journey the last five years have been. Since the inception of ISL, our Indian team's FIFA ranking has gone up from 173 to 96. ISL has given India our own national footballing heroes, like Sandesh Jingan, Jerry, Changte, Farooq Chowdhury, and many more. With great joy, I would like you to meet one of them. Friends, India is a resurgent nation of 1.3 billion people. More than 50% of our population is under the age of 25. ISL has truly captured the imagination of an entire generation of Indian footballers, giving every young boy and girl in our country the opportunity to pursue football as a viable career option. Let me tell you the story of 80 young boys that I'm extremely proud of. We call them our young champs. This power and potential of our youth makes India the most exciting global opportunity in the world today, in every field, and especially in sport. And that is what makes today an extremely important day for us and for Indian sport. Friends, now the moment we have been waiting for. Today, we welcome a global footballing powerhouse to India, to Indian Super League, and to Indian football. I am delighted and proud to announce that the City Football Group has acquired a majority stake in Mumbai City FC. For the first time ever, a European club will be acquiring a majority stake in an Indian club. City Football Group are the owners of Manchester City FC, who are the champions of the Premier League. They also own other leading clubs like New York City FC and Melbourne City FC. CFG, along with all its clubs, including Man City, will now join hands with ISL's very own Mumbai City FC. What a big day 
for Indian football. And what a dream come true for all the fans of Man City and Mumbai City FC. All the fans out there, let's have a big round of cheer for Man City and Mumbai City FC. On this momentous occasion, I extend a very warm welcome to City Football Group and to Faran, to our league and to India. I am sure Mumbai City FC and Indian football will benefit greatly from this historic partnership. I wish the entire teams of CFG, Mumbai City FC, and ISL the very best as they usher in this new era for football in India. I want to thank City Football Group for their belief in Indian football. I also want to thank His Excellency Khaldun for his faith and friendship with India. I look forward to the coming years with great excitement and hope as a fan, as a believer, and as a supporter of Indian football. Thank you once again for being here and joining us on this landmark day. Thank you. With great pleasure, may I now invite Ferran, the CEO, of City Football Group to join us on stage, please. I want to address you a few words, but before that, I want to invite you to watch a little video. Uh, uh, it's an honor and a true pleasure to be here with you. Um, I'm sitting here on behalf of His Highness Sheikh Mansour, our chairman, Haldun al-Mubarak, our shareholders, China Media Capital and Silver Lake, but also on behalf of a lot of people. The City Football Group has today more than 2,000 employees and 1,500 football players. That is a lot of people. A lot of people to whom I just sent an email before coming here telling them that we're going to India and we're going to Mumbai City. And I know they're very excited. We've been looking at this for years. We've been looking at football in India and this league for years now. We've been coming here. We've been sending people to watch the game. I came myself and I watched many games. And we are now convinced of the bright future of football in India. We've been looking at the work that you've done with the league, the work that Reliance and Star have done with the league, and it's so impressive. And I can say that because I serve in the board of several leagues around the world. I've seen this done in other places. And the execution, the strategy, the vision that we've seen in India is unbelievable. And this is why we are sure, I am sure, that 10 years from now, we'll be here and we'll be talking about a lot of people playing good football in India, a very good national team, a good league, good teams, and Indian players that are gonna be stars on a world stage. I am completely sure about that. The only question is, is it going to take us 10 years, or we, can we do it faster, right? We will try to help, we will try to collaborate to do it faster. And, and we will do it with partners, with Bimal, and with another partner that wants to say something to you. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm really sorry I could not be there today as I'm here shooting up in the mountains, uh, but I'm super thrilled. Uh, for this day. Uh, everybody who knows me knows my love for football and to own a football club in my own city is a dream come true. 
uh, all of us at Mumbai City Football Club, our ambition is to make it the best football club in Asia. And uh, today I'm extremely thrilled and excited to announce City Football Group's association with Mumbai City Football Club. With this tie-up, we hope to uh, replicate what Manchester City has done in the English Premier League and that is to win everything that's in front of us. And City Football Group's interest in India shows the growth opportunities the country presents for football. So, thank you so much. Uh, super excited once again and uh, see you all soon. So, as, as I said, the, the opportunity for um, football in India is evident. It's not a secret. Anybody can, can see it. You can see the passion. You can see the talent. You can see players that will become very good players. They need good environment to work, good coaching. And football has this power. has the power to help people's life, to empower better lives. It can be done, and it will be done. We will try to contribute. As you've seen, we are a global organization, and we have football clubs now in eight different countries. But we are, and we want to be, very local. The best football clubs in the world are embedded in the society of their cities. They're part of the fabric. They contribute for good in those cities. And that's why we want Mumbai City to be. We're not coming here to import anything. We're not coming here to teach anything. The first thing we will do is learn. We need to learn about India. We need to learn about Mumbai. We need to learn about Mumbai City. And our objective is to unleash the power of Indian football. The power is here. You can see it. We just have to help. We have to help with facilities. We have to help with coaching methodology, with technology, with know-how, with opportunities. And this is our aim. And it's our aim for the long term. We are here to stay. The City Football Group is here to stay for the next, next decade and more to see Indian football flourish. Very simple. This is what we want. We want to be part of your league. We want to be part of your society. We want to bring whatever experience we can bring to unleash the power of Indian football, and specifically, the power of Mumbai City. At the end, we want to play beautiful football, and we want to win. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Daniwa. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words of encouragement and inspiration. And the fans are looking forward to the next decade to win everything, in the words of Ranveer Kapoor. All right, may I request Mrs. Neeta Ambani and Speransa, you to please step forward in the center of stage for the pennant exchange. Kindly sit a little so all the channels at the back can get the shot as well, please. Thank you. And now may I request them to please bring on the pennant stand. Mrs. Neeta Ambani and Mr. Ferran Soriano will now place the pennants on.